Hey everybody, we are teaching Tilt Brush, and today's Tilt Brush episode is all about transparent and translucent brushes. Most of the stuff we're painting with is completely opaque, and as we paint a brush stroke, it covers up what was there before. We can't see through it. There are a few brushes specifically made to be transparent, to be translucent. The three main brushes that do this. On the first panel, we have highlighter and soft highlighter. These are brushes that are meant to be see-through. So if I paint in front of something, we see what I'm painting, but we also see straight through it to what's behind it. Highlighter and soft highlighter are on the first panel. On the second panel, we have velvet ink. Velvet ink is another brush where when we paint it down, it is transparent. It is translucent. We can see through it. If you paint over and over in the same place, it does build up. So if this is an additive brush, like some of our light and fire tools, but we're going to look at these translucent, transparent brushes, how they're used and how we can control them. So I'm going to reset back to base one, and we're going to look at these highlighter and soft highlighter. The main difference is the edge. If I choose a nice bold color and just draw a swipe, you can see how there's a very sharp edge to this line. Even the very beginning and end, it is a sharp rectangle shape that I'm painting in. With the highlighter pen, this is an unlit brush. So this brush has no highlight or shadow. While we are painting in three dimension, there's gonna be no shadows cast on objects behind it. So you can paint over a surface, like I could paint over the snowman here, and the shadows and highlights have no effect on the ink we're using. So the highlighter pen is a standard unlit brush. It is additive. So, uh, I'm sorry, the standard highlighter is not additive. Meaning, if I paint over and over in the same place, you can see it's still the same shade of green. It's still the same color. The additive part comes into the transparency. Right now, even though I've painted over the same place multiple times, it doesn't really change how transparent it is. So this is not additive. Painting over the same place does not build up anything. It just fills in any colors. If I rotate this, you can see it is still a 3D shape. We are still painting in our 3D environment. But you can see it does not affect the transparency. A little bit around the edges, we can see what's transparent or not. But overall, it's going to maintain the same intensity throughout the shape. So the highlighter, nice sharp edges. The soft highlighter works the same way. But instead of a hard edge, we've got this faded edge, a soft edge. Instead of a sharp rectangle, it starts with a rounded end and it ends with a pointy end. So if I do several in a row, you can see how the base is a thick round end, but the point that you're drawing towards becomes pointy. So if I go back and forth like that, we can do a tooth effect. Let's get rid of these brushes. So if I just go up and down, you can see it's an alternating tooth effect where the points alternate. Soft highlighter. Again, it is not additive, just a little bit overall, and it is not lit, meaning there's no highlight and shadow. If I spiral around itself, it doesn't cast a shadow on itself or other pieces. So these transparent brushes bring in color, but allow you to see through it. It's the edge that's the difference between the highlighter and the soft highlighter. The velvet ink is also one of these transparent brushes. So I'm going to go to a large size so I can paint a few stripes over the snowman here. So you can see the velvet ink is also one of our translucent, transparent brushes. The difference is it's got a texture, just like our main ink brushes. You can see it's the same pattern each time I draw it, starts toothy, 
ends in a point with a couple of gaps in between, there's really only two or three, maybe four different textures to draw from. Instead of smearing in a long line, it's stretching that texture. So if I just draw it short strokes versus long strokes, you can see it's the same texture just being spread out over your brush stroke. Like before, visually it's not additive. If we really get in close, you can see there's a little bit where the overlap is, but overall, painting over and over does not intensify the appearance of the color. It just changes the transparency a little bit. So we've got velvet ink and the two highlighters for these transparent, translucent brushes. Now the color, I'm going to have both the snowman and my dark t-shirt here as the background so you can see how the color affects it. I'm going to go for a very pale, pale blue. So the ink itself is very white, but it's still very transparent. We can still see the shape of the snowman even through this highlighter pen. If we go for a darker white, a dark gray, You can see how it's more the transparency, not so much the color that's being affected. They're both still a pale white ink, but the darker shade gives you more of a transparent effect. If I'm going into the background here and we add just some regular paint strokes, so we can see how a pale white highlighter versus a dark gray highlighter. The dark gray doesn't affect the color so much as the transparency level. The brighter the intensity, the more opaque it's going to be. So we do have a level of control. How transparent do you want these pieces? Let's clear these out of the way. For another example, I'm going to go into a red and I'm going to go for a very intense bright red. Here is our transparency level. Now I'm going to go for a very dark shade of red. Painting over, they're both reading as an intense red color, but the dark shade is more transparent. There's a slight variation if we get up close, but really it comes into the see-through transparency. If we start now building it up, here's the additive coming through. Again, we can still see through it, but now we're getting a little more of the color, a little more of the light. If we do it long enough, it'll start to affect it. Even with a dark color, it's still totally transparent. A little more intensity, but still the translucency. Highlighter, soft highlighter, velvet ink. The diamond hull is similar. For those of you who saw the uh, secrets of the hull brush, we bring in the diamond hull, which is another transparent brush. But for this one, we're going to stick with our paintbrush types. Highlighter, soft highlighter, and velvet ink. Intensity of the color is your value for your transparency. They're not color additive, but the more you paint in one place, it may start to build up a little bit of the intensity. But they're made so we can see through into the background. And I've been using our snowman because we seldom get to use our snowman, but he works well to be able to see through this. So I'm going to keep our lovely transparent highlighter. I'm going to go to our nice color. So this is Teaching Tilt Brush. Every week we look at different tools or different ways of using these tools in Tilt Brush, Google's online uh, internet uh, 3D art program. Let us know if you have questions about tools you'd like us to see to demonstrate or if you have ideas for classes. We do this live every week on twitch.tv slash shamelessmayhem on Sunday afternoons. And we do this recorded, archived in our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash shamelessmayhem. Thanks for joining us. I hope to see some of the creations you guys do in Tilt Brush. Have fun.